Think of something like a nacho cheese sauce. Think of something like chicken. Think of something like fish. Think of some real food. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it is reaction time again. Today with the Find Guru Alkaline Vegan comfort food. It is 2020 and we are still talking about alkaline food. Unbelievable. Let's do it. This burger, y'all? She's very orange. Okay. So. <sighs> mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't believe you. I just did the Beyond Burger taste test. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is alkaline, yeah? Frying in vegetable oil. What's up, y'all? And welcome back to my channel. Salut à tous et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. So in today's video, what? I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite plant-based as well as alkaline <sighs> comfort foods. So let's go ahead and jump right into the recipes. Let's go. Now, this first meal is kind of like a sweet potato bowl. It's something that's filling and hearty. Think about an acai bowl, but instead of an acai base, you have a sweet potato base. As far as the toppings for this sense? bowl, I'm going to add banana, blackberry, uh -huh. walnuts, and hemp seed. Okay. I'm first going to start off by chopping up the banana in little small pieces. And for the base, as well as some protein, I'm going to add some amaranth. Amaranth. <laughs> amaranth is All right, wait a second. You're going to use a scoop of amaranth for protein. Just because it comes in a scoop doesn't mean it is protein rich. Amaranth has around about 14 grams of protein per 100 grams. This scoop here is maybe 20 to 30 grams. That's not even 5 grams of protein. Amaranth, amaranth is a super grain. It's packed with so many nutrients, so super, much protein. Amaranth has become nutrient. one of my favorite alkaline grains. I like to make this whether it's up with something sweet or with something hearty. I actually use this in my last video, so you can go ahead oh, and check that so out. Orange? To make the amaranth is super simple. You just boil it over water. And it takes anywhere about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the thickness or consistency that you like it. For the base of my bowl, I'm going to also boil some uh, sweet potatoes. And after okay. both of those are boiled, I'm going to add a tiny bit of amaranth on the bottom. I am making a larger portion because I'm going to actually this? meal prep this. A teaspoon of vanilla. One fourth tablespoon of cinnamon. This is very creative. And a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You can also mm. do this to taste. And because I want the base of this smoothie to be very, very thin and milky, I'm going to add about one fourth cup of hemp milk. You can also do this to the yeah, consistency to of your life. replace dairy, as always. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this in my Ninja blender until it's a nice I really have puree. to give it After to her. I've never seen anything like this boiled, before. This is a really simple, easy <laughs> meal to make. Looks pretty because disgusting. I blended the amaranth into the sweet potato and added mm. some hemp milk, this is going to be a very smooth consistency. Then I'm topping it off with more amaranth because I feel like it gives it a nice texture. Think of something like grits or cream of wheat. Okay. And the sweet potatoes, as well as the fruit, give it a sweet taste, but I'm going to be a little extra because I need some comfort food. So I'm going to add some date nectar. <laughs> Majority of these items are actually... Yeah, the sugar cravings are real. So what we see here is nothing but carbohydrates. Here you have the blackberries, here you have the bananas. The whole base is made of amaranth and sweet potatoes. It is simply carbohydrates. And because that is not enough, she's pouring date sugar on top. No matter if it is the natural sugar or not, it is still sugar and therefore will lead to to diabetes in the long run. This is what we see here, nothing more and nothing less. Unfortunately, because we do not have any protein in this meal, despite of what she believes, and we do not have any micronutrients. The alkaline beside the sweet potato, you can switch the sweet potato out for something else to make this purely alkaline. But this meal, you guys, ah, is All right, listen, your body has buffering systems in order to regulate the pH levels of your blood. Do you understand what would happen if your blood pH would drop or rise? You would die. Dr. Sebi, that all the vegans follow, was a scam artist. There is no food that can influence the pH level of your blood. Please wake up. It's delicious. It's very filling. It's sweet. It's hearty and it's very healthy, depending on how much date nectar you add. Why is it healthy? The vegans have no idea about nutrition. Explain why. Because it has a banana, because it has a potato, because it has a blackberry. Why is it healthy? You have no idea why it's healthy. 
all you're eating is non-essential carbohydrates. How is this healthy? But dates are natural, so it's nice natural sugars that you're getting. This is perfect for breakfast, <laughs> exactly. for lunch, for dinner, midnight snack. It's super sweet, super tasty, super filling. Don't and even this. though it's comfort food, Airball. it is relatively healthy. How? Again. So amazing. So amazing. And it's so filling. You guys will love this, especially with the date nectar. Try date nectar instead of agave. Switch it up a little bit. It's also alkaline. This next meal is... Yeah, no matter what you will pour date sugar on, that stuff will taste sweet. Therefore, you will recognize the sweet with your tongue. You will recognize it as energy. And therefore, you will trick yourself into believing, hmm, food. It's down my favorite. These are my plant-based crab cakes and they are bomb, y'all. I'm going to be making the crab cakes out of heart like of palm. What is this? These are actually really nice because it gives it a really nice texture. I found creative. that with vegan food, as long as the Honestly, texture is pretty accurate, respect you can dude. pretty much I've never seen anything like this. Right. So I'm going to pat these completely dry or as dry as I can. One, it's easy for them to pull apart and two, it's going to make for a better crab cake. So as okay. you can see, when you pull apart, it kind of looks like crab or it might look like a ah, is that zarimi? Cake, depending on what you think. But I personally think it looks like crab. Super easy to pull apart. And as you can see, it's very meaty looking. Nice job. Sea salt. Very meaty looking, you guys. Very meaty looking. Nice job tricking your body. Vegans, please understand this. I'm not coming from hate. We all come from a place of love. We just try to save you. When you are craving meat or seafood in this case, ask yourself, why is that so? Why is your body craving animal foods? No, it is not the emotional attachment. No, it is not your mommy that brainwashed you. It is your body wanting nutrition. Every time you put something in your mouth, your body, your tongue, la, 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 tries to recognize nutrition. In this case, you're fooling yourself and your body believes, yay, we're going to get some protein. Unfortunately, you lied. To taste, as well as garlic pepper, raw onions, about two tablespoons of lime juice, and this is also oh. to taste. I'm a very limey person, so I'm going to add limey even more person. lime. And then to get that sea taste, I am going to be adding some nori. I found that this actually works good if you kind of roll it up and then you just grate it with the cheese grater. Or what you can do is chop it up and then put it in. I add about one fourth cups of nori and a few drops of liquid smoke. You want to be careful because if you OD with this liquid smoke, it'll be too much. But it's going to give it a really nice flavor. Yeah, she's just and trying to, make to this replicate all combined animal well, foods. I'm going to add one fourth cup of garbanzo bean flour. Honestly, you guys, whatever you like your fish to taste like, season it with something it's not like fish. that. I like a smoky... Oh, okay, let me interrupt you again, honey. Listen, the reason why you crave fish is because of DHA and EPA, vitamin D and bioavailable protein. This is what your body wants. This is what your brain wants. This is what you need. It is very, very simple. Now you mix up this concoction and you are making your body believe that it will get nutrition. After this meal, you sit there bloated and still unsatisfied. Ask yourself why. Lemon garlic type of fish. So that's the type kind of seasonings that I wanted to add to my crab oh, man. As you can Just see, the consistency sushi. is starting to look really good. And I also forgot to add my one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, which is going to give it kind That's of like a cheesy bro. flavor. So to coat my crab cakes, I'm going to be... You must be starving, honestly. On the one side, you're craving fish. On the other hand, you are craving cheese as well. And therefore, you mix everything up. It's really disgusting. Using garbanzo beans as well as a little bit of <clears throat> lemon pepper seasoning and a little tiny bit of nutritional yeast I'm getting on acid top. reflux the watching nutritional this. yeast is going to give it a nice flaky texture so that's why i also added it on the batter for the breading mm -hmm. and now it's time to turn our little mixture into little crab cakes and if you guys are concerned with the type of seasonings to use just use whatever seasoning that you would use to season any type of fish if you like Cajun, do a Cajun. I don't use anything to season fish because I eat it raw. It's delicious and nutritious. Try it someday. Seasoning style. I personally like a smoky, lemony, 
crab cake. So that's what I'm going to be making for my crab cake seasoning. Now I'm going to be- You like smoky, lemony fish, but you trick your taste buds. Dipping all of the crab cakes into the mixture. And then to give it a nice crunch, I'm going to actually take these puff kamut, which is an alkaline grain. I'm going to dip my crab <laughs> cakes into the kamut puff. Uh, Dr. Sebi, what have you done? And it wouldn't be this crab cakes girl. without some type of remoulade or some type of sauce. Taking one cup of Brazil nuts, a tablespoon of lime juice, adding Very about good. one tablespoon of soy sauce, garlic pepper to taste, a little bit of grapeseed oil. Remoulade is made out of eggs. And I'm going to blend that up in my Ninja Blender. As you can see, the consistency is very thick. I also added a tiny, tiny bit of spring water, but as you can see, it's super thick still, so I'm gonna actually add a, a little bit. The whole recipe just tries to replicate the real thing. This is very typical for vegans. More water because I like mine to be a bit more creamy. I'm gonna be super heavy handed because this is comfort food, y'all, so. I don't do this all the time, so I'm going to go ham with food? this grapeseed oil. And then add my crab cakes to a very, 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 very hot pan of grapeseed oil. And now see, see what all of those cravings led you to. Now you're using all of this processed gunk, you mash it together. It is terrible for you as is. You're lacking all the vital essential micronutrients. And now you're going to deep fry it in vegetable oil. Don't you see how bad this is for you? If you would go to KFC, at least you would get some protein. Absolutely sad. It's sizzling really nice. The kamut puffs look beautiful. It's going to give it a nice uh, crunch on the top. Man, man, but man. after about two minutes, I go ahead right, and great. flip them over. Completely burnt. This here is cancer causing. In case you didn't know. I know vegans have issues with understanding what nutrition is. Over till they're golden brown. And now I am highly annoyed Golden because brown. this somehow got out of focus. But now I am plating this with some grilled squash as well as some green beans on top of baby kale. Now everything's in focus and you can actually see how beautiful this meal came out. These crab cakes, y'all, are so bomb. But these are absolutely amazing. They taste very, yeah, very similar to crab cakes. Bomb. and I So nothing on this plate is bioavailable. Nothing on this plate is nutritious. As I said a thousand times now, you're lacking all the micronutrients and you're eating an excess of fiber. This will lead to either constipation or diarrhea. Either way, it will lead to digestive stress. Congrats. Love these. I could probably make these every other day if I wanted to eat that much oil. I was not playing. When I say I love my citrus, so I'm going to add even more <laughs> lime on top. And I don't have a fork, okay. so I'm going to just grab it with my finger. But look at how <sighs> meaty it looks. I'm sure that underneath all that makeup, you're actually a very beautiful lady. Why do you do that to yourself? It really breaks my heart seeing young people just destroying themselves with this new age agenda, with this absolute brainwashing from the government. Don't do this to yourself. Reclaim your health. Eat animal foods, please. And I'm going to take some of the sauce because the sauce is bomb. The sauce, the Brazil nuts kind of creates a cheesy taste. So this sauce is kind of like a... Kind of cheesy. Hmm. Mm. Why do you want cheese? Yet again, people, please use your brain. It is that simple. Your body craves foods because it needs nutrition. All you crave is animal foods, fish, cheese. Why? If we are herbivores, if we are frugivores, if we are supposed to be alkaline vegans, why don't we just eat the plants and enjoy them as is? Why do we have to replicate animal foods? I can't. This is so fried. Good. No matter if I take a piece of paper and fry it in oil, it will taste good. This is why we fry stuff, but by no means is this healthy. The liquid smoke really sets the whole thing off. Like, yeah, it reminds you, like a you of meat. Hard flavor, liquid Barbecue. smoke is a plug, y'all. Yeah. But this heart of palm, <clears throat> I wish you can see it. It's it's amazing. These. Make these. If there's one thing, no. make these. Mm. Bomb. All right. I won't. Let's Thanks. Get <clears throat> now I'm going to take a little break and mention today's sponsor. It's a pretty good wig that you're wearing there. Looks good. 
Taking a quick little break to share a new plant-based no, recipe. No, I don't want to watch this. And this last and final meal in this video is going to be my alkaline chicken nuggets. Um, these are going to be made out of <laughs> mushrooms. Ah, <laughs> vegan logic. Alkaline chicken. Fantastic. Alkaline is a scam. Alkaline is a lie. You cannot change the pH level of your blood, otherwise you would die. I already told you that. Now, chicken, really? Ask yourself why. Why do you torture yourself so much? You want the flesh. You want the fatty, greasy chicken skin. You want the nutrients. Why do you do this? I'm going to take two very large portobello mushrooms and roughly Sad. chop them. I'm gonna take a half a cup of salt flour, one teaspoon of ginger uh. powder, one teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a tablespoon of oregano and add a little bit of spring water and mix that till it's well combined. Add my portobello mushrooms into the bowl. And then after those are mixed up, sometimes I actually like to- So you're gonna replace chicken with mushrooms. Ah, oh. chicken has bioavailable protein. You do understand this. Mushrooms have none. It doesn't matter that it choose similar. You're not getting nutrition. Uh, sometimes I actually like to leave them a little bit longer uh. so that it actually soaks up the seasoning that I put into the flour. And then I'm going to add that into a bowl of just plain spelt flour. You can season the spelt flour if you want to and just be OD like I usually am. Was heavy handed with the wet flour so I don't really feel like I need to season the um, dry flour and I'm also going to make a dipping sauce for this so I don't really need to season the dry flour. Now I'm going to be heavy handed this. again with the grapeseed oil so I'm going to cover the whole bottom of the pan with grapeseed oil. Because you want KFC. Up on very, 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 oh, very high heat. Man. Then add my mushrooms in. You want to make sure that the heat is high so you can get a Super nice, carcinogenic yet crispy, again. I leave it How on is for that about even two minutes. Alkaline. It doesn't make guys, sense. Guys, these mushrooms Why are do I so bother? good. But this is something that I want to make that's quick and easy. And as I mentioned, I am making this with a dipping sauce. I don't. I didn't really need to go ham on the seasoning for these mushrooms. After this is cooked for a total of about four to five minutes, I am then going to put this on a bed of baby kale so that it can soak oh, up the excess oil. Burn it to the and ground. This is a hundred percent purely alkaline. <laughs> I'm also going to be making and showing you guys. Okay, guys, there you have it. Dr. Sebi, this is what you created. This is 100% purely alkaline burnt veggies. Burnt veggies in vegetable oil replicating animal flesh. This is 100% alkaline, super healthy for you if you want to get cancer. It's an alkaline sauce that I like to pair with this using a red bell pepper. I'm going to be starting Amazing. out with a cup of Brazil nuts, then adding cayenne pepper to taste. Half a teaspoon of ginger powder. This is a tragedy. Then a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Sea salt to taste and some spring water. Then after roasting my red bell peppers, I'm going to add my bell peppers into the combination and also uh, add a little bit of lime juice and put it into my ninja blender. I can't even follow anymore. This sauce, y'all, is super good. Think of something yeah, like a spicy is. nacho cheese sauce. Or if you think of something like a nacho cheese sauce, think of something like chicken, think of something like fish, think of some real food. Added a little bit more cayenne pepper, it could be kind of like a, um, a hot sauce. And I'm going to add it to my little nugget ready to eat. Now, this is not alkaline, but this is also a comfort food that I have been making, which <laughs> is a spicy chicken mushroom sandwich, but minus the chicken. So I'm going to be adding and adding some Cholula hot sauce. Uh, and I know I had sauce on it, but I love me some Cholula and this is gonna be like a spicy chicken sandwich. And no type of burger is complete without any avocado. So I'm gonna put a few slices of avocado. This is, so sad. is comfort food. This burger is so bomb, y'all. If, if you are in the mood for something fried, if you're in the mood for something like a burger, this meal, y'all, is so good. The sauce that I made really sets it off because it gives oh, it Oh, guys, beer. 2020, top of the food chain, all the resources in the world. You are living in America. What do you do to yourself? Why do you go voluntarily onto a slave diet? Very cheesy nacho taste. Cheesy. Mm. She can't get enough. She can't get enough. She needs animal foods. Look at this. Mm. What? This what is, is one of those things that I can't really believe it's vegan. Cringe. 
but it is. Even the mushrooms look meaty, but these are my comfort foods that are plant-based and alkaline. You can obviously tweak the ingredients to make it uh. even more alkaline or purely alkaline, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys are interested in Green Chef, all the information will be down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and Thank I will you. see you in the next upload. Maybe. Bisou! Mwah! Bisou! Fan. Fantastic. All right, and this is it. The video is long enough as is. What you saw is a typical display of a starving vegan. They all want the real thing. It is normal. Don't deny yourself. God gave us animals to eat. Now you're starving yourself with man-made foods, with creations that come in a plastic packaging made by industries for you. You are brainwashed. You are following a slave diet. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. If you want raw grass-fed liver, but you cannot stand the taste, Grassland Nutrition has the solution. Grassland Nutrition takes grass-fed organic beef liver raw and freeze dries it for you. It is a convenient, fantastic way to get the nutrition of liver without the taste. We have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef, deliver to your doorstep butcher boxes for you and we have cbd links as well on top of that guys consider supporting bobby's perspective through subscribestar or patreon we have a vip community there where we have skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic no matter if it is health lifestyle or nutrition related on top of that by joining you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide it is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals no matter if you're keto primal paleo or even raw all right but this is it for today thank you very much for your support guys and as always much love and peace